it's Raina with Lilo Crafts coming on today. Work on a scrap busting and desk cleaning up project. Are you like me where you are accumulating book pages and leftover cutouts from the paper or your scraps and leftover lace? So that's what I have and I want to clean up my desk and I want to do it by making some things. So we are going to be making some of these book page tags and also some pockets to put in a journal or to give as gifts. I think this would be so cute as a present tag as well. So this is the formula we're going to be following, which is a book page scraps of paper, some leftover ephemera, a word, and some lace. That's what I want to incorporate and maybe I might incorporate yarn or something else into it. So the first thing I want to do is take my book page and I want to cut off the white part. And I'm going to do that with a ruler and so I'm just going to go ahead and tear that. And then also I'm gonna just rip this on the bottom. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is just fold this approximately in half. And I'm gonna fold this one over to the width that I would like the tag, okay? So if you want your tag wider, you don't have to fold it over that much. So I'm just gonna take my little bit of glue over here and I'm gonna glue that down. Next, what I'm gonna do is take some of my book page that is blank on the other side, and I'm going to go ahead and trim this so it's got a straight edge. Oops. My dog is sitting on my lap, and so I'm having a harder time working, and I don't wanna let him go because I am traveling. I am going to be doing the flowers for a friend's wedding. And so I am going back to California to help her with that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tear this piece here. And it doesn't have to fit perfectly. It is just to create some space to write. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just clip the tag shape at the top. So I'm going to pinch the two ends together then I'm just gonna take a small little angle and then now they perfectly match. I am going to use my Distress Oxide ink and go around the edges here. Now, following my formula, maybe I could use this lace. Maybe across the bottom. And then I've got this lovely scrap and I have this sweet snowman that I could put or I have some green paper. Do I like this better? Okay, so I think that's cute. So the first thing I'm going to do is glue the lace down so it looks like it's about like there. And I'm going to allow the bottom to be loose. Well, maybe I'll just tack, tack just this down just a bit. Okay. And we'll go ahead and trim off the excess. Okay, next I want to ink around my little scrap of paper here. And then around these corners with my little corner rounder. So the next thing I'm gonna do is glue this on. And I'm just using hot glue today just because it's so fast and we're doing a video but you can use any kind of glue that you would like. Okay, I like that. And then, okay, so next I'm gonna go ahead and glue my snowman on down. So 
cute. And then I'm going to glue my Merry Christmas sign. So I'm going across the top like that. And then I think to finish this one off, it would be so nice to put just a little bit of glitter, a little bit of stickles. So I'm going to put some where this snow is on the branches and in his little hat and his cheeks. And then I'm also going to do the Merry Christmas. Okay, there you have it. There is tag number two. Okay, so let's see here. So I've got this piece of paper and I'm wondering if I could just do, and it's already white on the back. beautiful piece of lace. I'm wondering if that can go there. Okay, so I think this next one, this is what I am going to do. So let me go ahead and start with this bit of lace right here. And I do like it coming right off the edge a little bit. So I'll put my lace on and then next I have this excess piece of foil and I can never let foil go to waste. So let's go ahead and glue that down. Okay, and I'm gonna run it off the edges here and then I will trim at the end. Next, I love this holly. I think that was so cute up here in the corner. And then I just couldn't resist this candy cane. Anytime there's red and white, I just love candy canes. Do you like candy canes? Or do you just like to look at candy canes? Do you like to eat peppermint? I love all those like Thin Mints, Andes Mints. Girl Scout Thin Mint Cookie. <laughs> I guess you could say I like mint. And let's add this little sentiment here too that says, let us know. Okay, so now all I'm gonna do is come back here and I am gonna trim the little doily off. and everything else we can leave like that. So that's so great. So that is tag number three. Okay, so let's maybe make a pocket. Okay, so I have this. And the first thing I wanna do is give it a notch. So I am using my two inch circle punch and then I do like to ink. Thank you to Dale from Not Too Shabby Chic who got me restarted on inking. I used to ink and I stopped and then now I'm inking again. <laughs> and that's so fun. And then we want to use the same components. We want to use some kind of ribbon or trim. And I like about this is it has the blue so I would love to somehow feature that blue and then maybe tie it in with this. Adding a little book page. Let's see here. Okay, I like it. So I'll go ahead and Put a little glue 
on this so we can apply this book page over here. And then next, I want to have this trim go across. We'll use just like those words as a little guide. So cute. Okay. So because it's not quite flat, because it's sitting up on stuff, I'm just going to put just a hair of this really thin foam tape. I'm just going to put it on the top and the bottom to help make it even. Add a little hot glue to that and also in the middle. Okay. I love that. Okay, I have a jingle word, so I want to use this. So now I'm just going to trim the ends. I think I also want to add a little gold bow. Let me take this leftover gold eyelash trim. I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue. And then I'm going to take these two strands and just lay them in the hot glue. And so that I have a little tinsel on there. That's so cute. That's so cute. And then the last thing we're going to do is I think we're going to just put some stickles around this flower. Okay. And also on these little circles around the ornament here, around the flower. Okay. There we go. All right. Okay. So here you have it. Here is a tag, a journaling spot, a pocket, and another tag that would be so perfect on a present or stuck inside of a, of a journal or even to be used on a Christmas tree as an ornament. So I think these are especially cute and these are part of my hashtag Satmore Makes Projects, which is an open collaboration hosted by the amazing Jillian Norwood. So please tell me what you are doing with your scraps. I would love to know, but this is such a fun scrap buster and turning our trashy little pieces into treasures. So thank you so much for spending time with me today and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.